This is an old book on trigonometry. It's actually an entire book on trigonometry. It's called Fundamentals of Trigonometry. It's from the Swakowski series. It's the fifth edition. And trig books, you don't see them too often anymore because most colleges seem to be opting for books that are used to teach both pre-calc and trig. So students can buy one book and they can use the same book for both courses. Um, whereas this one, uh, this is just a trig book, so you couldn't really use this for two courses. So that's been, I think, like a trend lately in colleges that they're using those types of books. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool when you see a book that's just trig. It's not as common, you know, not, not really as common anymore. Prereqs for trigonometry, which I think is a shame. I think it's cool just to have an entire book devoted to trig. The trig functions, analytic trigonometry. Usually these books have more examples. Um, and the whole book is trig, so the, the goal is to make a trig book. So the, the, sometimes it's a little bit more focused and a little bit better. Oblique triangles and vectors, complex numbers, and this does have exponentials and logs, and then some analytic geometry as well, and then some tables here, and answers to the odd numbered problems in the back of the book. Let's, uh, let's check the copyright on this one. This one's probably older. 81 it says here, copyright 1981, so that's, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. And it's fairly modern in its layout, as you can see. It has like, um, you know, examples, and it does use some color. It doesn't overdo it with the color. You've just basically got like light green and dark green, and then just uh, some bolding, uh, some graphs here. They're graphing some important functions. Just examples. This is a good example here too. Just good examples to show you stuff. And then you have some exercises here that you can do for practice. So, and you can check your answers to all of the odd numbered exercises, which is really good. This is great for self-study, for someone uh, who wants to learn trig for the first time. This is an awesome choice. If you can get an old copy of this book, it's just totally worth it. I will try to leave a link in the description and then you can look for used copies through that link. Here you have identities. These are really fun. People don't like these. I do like them though, They're, they can be fun. You know, when all else fails, just go to sine and cosine, right? And sometimes you can just figure it out that way, you know, convert them all to uh, sine and cosine. Some harder identities here, the ones no one likes to remember. Yeah, you can derive some of these pretty easily though, so honestly memorizing the derivation is, uh, is, is better, I think, in many cases. Hmm, the component, interesting. We're looking at projections, complex numbers. So yeah, some interesting mathematics, um, a lot of trigs you can see in this book, and you have answers to uh, all the odd-numbered problems. So. You can use a book like this to learn trig. Um, you can also take courses to learn trig. Um, I actually have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com, uh, and I have trig courses there um, that you could take to learn trig as well. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. A trig book. Yeah, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. I also have another channel on fitness, uh, the Fitness Sorcerer, where I look at uh, fitness stuff, fitness books old, old fitness books and stuff like that, but interesting book here, Swakowski, yeah, keep doing mathematics.